South Africa, it's good to see you. Nana Kwame, it's good to see you. This gate will open, as you can see, all of you who are on um, Facebook and YouTube. Hallelujah. We are ready to open the gates this morning. Hallelujah. This gate will open. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. This gate will open. Morning, Rispa. Thank you so much. Mlungisi of the mark. This gate will open. There's a gate that is supposed to open for you. It shall open and it will open in Jesus' mighty name. Very quickly, we are going to the book of Acts chapter 12, verse 10. I don't have many scriptures today, so I'm going to teach very quickly and we're going to go into the word. Hallelujah. I'm going to push my voice a little bit because, you know, this season of winter tries to challenge you with the flu, but it is well. Thank you so much, Anna. Okay, guys, let's pick up the pace, right? Remember, you are preaching with me. You are praying with me. Everybody participate. Everybody's sharing. If everybody shares already now, we would already be having 500 people in the room. Hallelujah. Make sure that you are sharing to at least 10 people that you can see they're active and live on the uh, uh, TikTok platform. Those of you on Facebook, uh, those of you on YouTube, please share on your timelines, on your WhatsApp groups, whichever WhatsApp groups you believe that somebody needs to hear this word. Somebody's gates have been closed for a long time. Somebody needs to hear this word. Talk to me, somebody. Acts chapter 12, verse 10. Hallelujah. The Bible says when they were past the first and second guard. So these gates are guarded. You need to understand that to get to where you want to go to in the spirit realm, you are going to have to go through gates. Welcome, Mom Kathy. There are gates. Nothing is obtained just by chance. Nothing is obtained by being lazy. Nothing is obtained by just sitting back and not doing anything about it. You're going to have to fight through certain gates. You're going to have to go through certain guards. Hallelujah. Everything is guarded. Your fortune, your prayers, your requests, anything that you might be wanting God to bless. Hallelujah. Anything that you might be wanting. If I give you an example of your dreams, you know that your dreams do not get attainment unless you work it. Hallelujah. Any goal that you have for your personal life, before you get it, you have to make sure that you do something. You cannot be lazy and sitting on your laurels. So this kind of morning that we have woken up to on this protocol breaking prayer altar, this morning, we are going to have to work through the gates. Hallelujah. And when you get to a gate, you understand that there is a God at the gate. There is somebody who's guarding the gate. Equally the same that when you have to go through a door, there is a door and doors have locks. Hallelujah. There is a person who's holding the keys to the, to the gate. Hallelujah. There is somebody who's holding the keys to the door. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody type in that comment, uh, comment section. This gate will open. There is a gate that you're going to go through today. And that gate through is going to take you to your breakthrough. That gate is going to take you to your next level in the spirit realm you're going to grow and you're going to push with me talk to me somebody let's talk this gate will open say it again with me this gate will open this gate will open. Talk to me. Hallelujah. The, when when they, they pass the first guard, they, they, they pass the second guard. And the Bible says they came to the iron gate. Hallelujah. This is a gate of iron. This is not a gate. This is not a, a, a marshmallow gate. This is a strong uh, iron gate. And they say it leads to the city. So you find yourself this morning at an intersection or at a gate that is leading to your dream. A gate. You are finding yourself at the gate that leads to your breakthrough. My question is, what are you going to do? What are you willing to push? How, how much are you willing to push? Hallelujah. You are at the gate. And this gate will open. Somebody declare it with me. I said this gate must open and it will open. It shall open. It has no choice. This gate will open. We are not turning back. We are about to switch from the month of June into the month of July. We are about to switch into the month of July. That's the second part of half of the year. It means that anything that you did not achieve, any gates that did not open in the month of January up until now, that gate needs to open. Because you cannot afford to get to the end of December without going through that gate that leads to your goal. Without going through that gate that leads to your help. So you're going to have to make a demand in your spirit man right now. That this gate will open. Thank you so much, Buntle. I need people who are ready to open the gate. This gate will open. Talk to me. I need people who are tapping. I need people who are, who are typing and tapping. Let's open this gate. I'm asking you, it's only what you can demand. And you're going to have to push in the spirit. 
This gate will open. Yes, Juju, if that job is to be attained, you're going to have to do certain things in the spirit realm. You're going to have to understand that it's not going to come by just you keeping quiet. You're going to have to fight. It is a fight of faith to obtain the prize. Welcome to me. This gate must open. You cannot go through this uh, second part of the year the same way you went through the last part of the year. Glory to God. Let's continue. We are on Acts chapter 12, verse 10. And the Bible says, when they got to the iron gate that leads to the city, it opened to them of its own accord. It opened to them of its own accord. Somebody type of its own accord. Of its own accord. Oh, guys, I need you to, 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 to move fast with me this morning. It opened of its own accord. When you get to the gate and it opens of its own accord, you understand that you have shifted in the spirit dimension. You understand that you have been pushing in prayers. You understand that you have been doing the spiritual work that is needed. You understand that you have worked your foundations. You understand that you have uprooted. You understand that you have launched every spiritual warfare possible. This gate must open and this gate will open of its own accord. Because gates respect principles. Gates respect people who work the, the, the spirit dimension. On, on Friday, uh, uh, all through Saturday, on our all night, I explained that demons move at the mention of the name of Jesus when you make a demand. But principalities respect principles. Gates also have laws that they, 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 they listen to. They, can, they know when you are ready to go through that gate, that of its own accord, it has to open. Lift up, O oh ye gates. Lift up. Let those gates open. Let those gates be lifted up. The king of glory is about to go in. Oh, Jesus. I need everybody on Fortune Online who's ready to, 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 to go into the next dimension to share this live broadcast and tap. Because where I want to go in the spirit realm, I need more people to be coming to the kingdom of God. I need to depopulate hell this morning. This gate will open. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Type in that comment section, this gate will open. Are you not tired of getting to gates and they're not opening? Are you not tired of gates that don't open? What are you willing to do? This is not going to be that delegated prayer where you are just sending prayer requests. No, you're going to have to work this gate. You're going to have to work your way up through the first guard, the second guard to get to that gate and for that gate to open of its own accord. Because all I'm trying to do is to give you the remote control and to tell you that of its own accord, it must sense your, your, your presence. It must sense that you are now there. This gate must sense your presence. It must know that the glory is about to be revealed. It must know that darkness must flee. It must know that your light has come. It must know that your breakthrough has come. Of its own accord. Of its own accord, it must be able to understand and obey the spirit realm for you. This gate will open. Come on, declare it one more time. Declare it one more time. It doesn't take anything to share. Hallelujah. It doesn't deplete your data. The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. God has called you for a reason, not to be selfish. Hallelujah. Lift up the name of Jesus right now. This gate will open. Hallelujah. Try Fina, declare it as you get that job. This gate will open because your children will be fed. Your children will be maintained. Stress shall be lifted off you. This gate will open. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says it opened of its own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street. They went into the city, passed one street onto the next. And the, immediately the angel departed from them. So we understand that what has happened here prophetically and what God is sending to us as this word this morning, God is saying the gate is ready to open of its own accord. If you are ready to walk through, if you're ready to push through, this gate will open. Somebody declare it with me again. Every herod that has laid their hand on you, every herod that has laid their lots on you and said that you would not progress.
God wants to surprise them this morning. God will surprise them this morning. Oh, Jesus. I said every herald that has laid their, 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 their hands on your lots, they're going to get a surprise. Your enemies are going to get a surprise as you push through and you birth out this word of its own accord. It's going to be open. We are talking on a subject matter of this gate must be open. This gate will open. Hallelujah. That's our declaration this morning. This gate will open. This gate will open. Don't, don't wait too long by the side waiting to be carried into the pool like the men by the pool of Bethesda who are sitting there for 38 years waiting for somebody to push him and to jump him in. No, this gate will open. Do you understand that by the fact that you woke up and you are sitting here with me? Of its own accord, it must open. There are some who are who are sleeping, who've got the luxury to sleep. Some of us don't have the luxury to sleep. Our dreams are too big. Our goals are too big. Some of us have foundations that are fighting us, that we need to fight because we know that it, if we don't win this thing in the spirit realm, nothing will manifest in the physical realm. This gate will open. I said this gate will open. I prophesied and I decreed and I declared it on your, on your head. This gate will open. You're going to need to fight. You understand that you are fighting altars. You are fighting evil altars. You are fighting altars from your father's house and your mother's house that you don't even know what they're all about. But this gate will open because I'm not going to sleep while the enemy sows tears in my field. I'm going to reap my wheat and I'm going to reap the fruits without the tears. I'm going to make sure that my children and my children's children are going to eat the fruit that is pure without the tears. I said this gate will open. This is the ultimate. That, that You've come to that gate of life. This is the ultimate gate. The ultimate gate of growth. Whether it's spiritual growth, it's up to you. I don't know which gate is opening of its own accord. It depends on what is in your spirit, man. This gate will open. The gate of life. Somebody's battling diseases right now. Somebody's battling cancer. You need a battle of divine health that defies the logic of science, that defies the logic of physicians. This gate will open. Welcome to those of you on YouTube. Welcome, Cynthia. Uchenna, I said this gate will open. This gate will open. The gate of growth. This gate of growth. You are growing. This gate of promotion. This gate will open. The gate of peace will open of its own accord. For a physical gate to open of its own accord. There are spiritual gates that need to open. So you need to understand that you are pushing in the spirit realm. You are opening gates in the spirit realm until you get to the physical gate. And when you get there, it has to obey because it knows that a spiritual giant is standing right there. A spiritual giant is standing right there. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is the gate that is opening this morning in the spirit realm? That gate of support. The gate of intercession. The gate of support. The gate of intercession. In verse 5 of Acts chapter 12, the Bible says, while Peter was being kept in jail, the church never stopped praying. They never stopped praying to God for him to be released. You need support structures. You need this support structure. You need an altar of, of prayer. You need this protocol breaking prayer where others are standing in agreement with you and are pushing with you in the spirit. That you're going to burst out whatever you need to conceive. You're going to burst out. So you need to unlock your support gate. You need to unlock your intercession gate. You need to make sure some of you, it is your families, your physical families that need to help you and push you through. That need to know that they cannot bring you down. That they cannot be emotionally abusive and texting you. That you are birthing big things in the spirit realm. Some of you need to shift in the spirit realm for the sake of your spirit man. You might have to shift from certain individuals because you are unable to be, you, you are getting distracted by those around you. You are distracted by, by your associations. You are dis, di, distracted by ungodly associations. And you need a covering of prayer. You need to make sure 
that your intercessors make sure that before you even send out a prayer request that that person is even praying for you. You cannot afford to put your hands and destiny in the wrong hands. Welcome, Prophet Sadia from, from Jamaica. You cannot afford to sleep on your dreams, on your goals. You cannot afford on sleeping on what God has proposed for you. This gate will open. Somebody declare with me. You're going to have to make sure. You're going to have to speak in tongues. You're going to have to tarry. You're going to have to wait on the Lord. You're going to have to wait on the Lord. And as, as you wait on the Lord, you are pushing in the spirit realm. And as you, as you call on Jesus, because the Bible says he's there in heaven making intercessions for us. You need to make sure that you tell Jesus, Jesus, I'm still here. Intercede. We're still on this issue. This breakthrough must happen. Come on, Mara official. This gate will open. This gate will open. This gate will open. Come on, increase those likes. Tap those likes. Tap those likes. This gate will open. The Bible says Peter had the benefit of having the whole church praying for him. The church was praying for Peter. Oh, Jesus. While he was arrested, while he was being kept in jail. In the name of Jesus. I covenant with you right now. I stand in agreement with you right now. From now on, whenever you are in need, you will never lack any support. I just prayed for you right there. Somebody should say amen. Right now, don't wait until you tell me what you came here for. I will give you a chance. What you tell me when you tell me your prayer requests. If you want to confirm it, I will give you a chance to thank God because God is already working it right now. You need to thank God for your support structure. You need to thank God for your intercessors. You need to thank God that he gave you the opportunity to breathe, to be here this morning. You need to thank God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Every gate of rejection that has made people give up on you. I command that gate to open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the gate of acceptance to open for you. Any way where you've been rejected, I'm already touching on your issues without you telling me. Any gate of rejection, we command you to be open. Let the gates of acceptance be open right now in the name of Jesus. The covenant of answered prayer that God has between me and you is being released right now. Father, we decree it. We declare it. That the covenant of answered prayer is being released right now. Renew that covenant of answered prayer in our lives right now. At this hour of power, in this season, in this moment. Oh, Jesus, keep on tapping, keep on tapping, keep on sharing, keep on tapping and keep on engaging. There must be something that you're doing because the pool is being stirred right now. As the pool is being stirred, you need to either do something, do something, do something to make sure you get to that pool. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everybody who's sharing. Thank you for everybody who's tapping on the screen. May the Lord bless you. May an extra blessing come towards you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus, I see the covenant of answered prayer being renewed. Because some of you have, were already giving up on God. You are already giving him ult ultimatums. You wanted to walk away. May the Holy Spirit arrest you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uchenna, God bless you. May the gates of acceptance open up for you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. As you connect yourself to this altar of prayer. This altar of protocol breaking prayers. Protocols are being broken for you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody declare it again. This gate will open. Let my testimony show to the whole world. That should be your prayer and your declaration right now. Let my testimony be a, a, a show in the world. Let it show up to the whole world. Announce me this morning, oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. The whole world must know. That this gate has opened. All gates have to respond in prayer. All gates must re respond in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. Father God, give them strength to not give up while they're waiting. While they're in their waiting season. While they're in their waiting rooms. Give them strength not to give up in Jesus' mighty name. The second gate that we are opening this morning. That is going to open up its own accord. Is the gate of possibilities.
and the gate of options. A man needs options and possibilities. The gate of options and possibilities will open for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the gate of possibilities and the gate of options shall open up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. The gates must open of its own accord. Verse 6 of that Acts chapter 12 says, The night before Peter was put on trial. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He was asleep. Before, imagine you are going to court tomorrow. You don't have a panic. You don't have a worry. He was sleeping peacefully in his cell. And the, he, the morning was going to be his trial. He was asleep. And the Bible says he was bound by two chains. He was chained. A soldier was guarding him on the one side and the other soldier on the other side. They were guarding the entrance out to the jail as well. So there's guards on the other side at the entrance of the jail. And there's guards beside him while he's sleeping in jail. So, and he's also chained. You can understand that they didn't want to lose this man. They didn't want, they wanted to make sure that he's going to remain bound. But something in the spirit realm, um, help me. Oh, Jesus, help me, Jesus. I'm here to announce to you that despite the chains that the enemy has put you in, despite the chains and the guards that are surrounding you, oh, Jesus, I prophesy that the gate is still going to open in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. The level of security that one man was assigned, one man in the, you, you understand, some of you have been asking yourself, you, you, you feel like I'm, I'm a nobody. I don't even know why the enemy is fighting me so much. Mm. The enemy doesn't fight a hobo. The enemy has seen your destiny. The enemy knows who you are. You might not know who you are. You might be doubting who you are, mm. but the enemy knows you, Chenna. The enemy knows you, Cynthia. That is why the heat is being turned up. That is why the furnace is so hot. The more you think that the enemy is going to let you go, you're going to think, you know what? I'm not even going to pray too much. I don't want to attract too much attention from the devil. That is exactly what he's going to do. He just wants you in that position and he's going to even put more fire. And you're wondering, I thought my retrenchment was enough. But why must my husband not find gainful employment? I thought uh, uh, my, my husband not working should be enough. But why is the enemy making my children to be evicted from school? I thought that was enough. Why are we being hit with diseases that we cannot, we cannot even afford to go to the doctors for? Do you understand that some people who are on this broadcast have got too much that is fighting them? They've got chains all around. They've got guards all around. But this morning, I declare and I decree that it will open. This gate will open. You're going to escape. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Once God opens up the gate of possibilities in the great face of difficulty, you are facing great difficulty. Do I have people like that this morning who are in the broadcast who are saying, Pastor Fortune, you don't understand the difficulties that I have. I'm here to prophesy to you that this gate will open. The Lord is opening a gate of possibility for you. The Lord is opening the gate of opp opportunities, options. You will have options. It's a very, very sad place to be when you don't have options. You need options. Do you understand that people who are slaves, who are beggars, don't have options? When you get to, to a restaurant, you can ask for a menu. People who don't have options, don't have, they, they take anything that they can get. They take their, their, they're waiting by the wayside. They, they, they are begging. Anything you can give them. I prophesy to you this morning, you will no longer have to beg. You will have options. This gate will open. This gate will open. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening up the gate of possibilities in the face of every great difficulty that you have faced. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that in the midst of all the challenges that they are all going through, everybody right now who's under the influence of my voice. They are going through beyond every challenge that they are going through right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, Lord, that you will cause them to see you. Cause them to see you. Cause them to see that gate that is opening of its own accord. May they not miss the opportunity to step into the pool because the pool is stirring right now for them in the main name of Jesus. Living God, open up the gate of options for our future. God is opening up those future doors for you. Those future gates for you. Future gates of options, options to take any university you want, not to be forced to go to the university that is least or, or that is not even befitting of what you are supposed to be studying for. 
I see the gates are opening. I see the gates are opening. The Bible says in Matthew 14, 29, and he said, come. And when Peter came down out of the boat, he walked on the water to Jesus. And he's here this morning. He's saying to me, I must tell you, come. Come right now. Come through right now. Don't be afraid to walk on the water. Jesus is calling you out. He says, come. And, and Peter obeyed. I want people who are saying, I'm ready to obey. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to come. I'm ready to come. This is my season. This is my time. This gate will open. Matthew 14, 30 says, but seeing that the wind was strong, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, the Lord, save me. Some of you, you take a step of faith and you see just a little bit of storm. You see a bit of wind. You start panicking. You want to turn around. They tell you your God is not working. Tendo, the deliverance is happening right now as you are listening to the word right now. There's nothing mystical that needs to happen. As I'm prophesying and I'm teaching this word, this is your prophetic word. You don't wait until I say I prophesy to Tendo. Right now, your deliverance is happening right now. Because as I'm saying it right now, something must leap in your belly. Something must leap in your spirit, man. When you key in and you switch in, I need you to switch in. Don't look at your problem. Don't focus on your problem. I don't care about your mountain. I'm, I'm not, this is a protocol breaking prayer altar. I don't care about the, that, that, that problem. I don't care how big it is. I don't care how long you've been in it. I came this morning with authority to break it down, to level down the mountain. I'm not here with a shovel. I'm not here with even explosives. I'm here with a volcanic push that you will see level down that plane. It will be like a plane. Jesus, this gate will open. Declare it, Tendo. See it. Feel it. Mean it. Believe it. If you feel like you are sinking, if you feel like you are spiraling, you feel like your mind, you are losing your mind. You feel like, I don't know. I feel like I don't have options. I don't even know how to pray. I don't even know how to worship anymore. I don't know. I don't have the strength. You are the right candidate. You are the exact right candidate. This gate will open. Do you understand that this is a fight? This is not a joke. You woke up this morning. You went, some of you are, are you, it's your night time, wherever you are. And you cannot, you cannot pray. You, you, you cannot sleep. You cannot, you woke up for a reason. You didn't stumble on this broadcast by mistake. Hallelujah. Rakoshata kadiamase. This gate will open. Thank you, Jesus. This gate will open. This gate must open. When you feel like you're spiraling, when you feel like things are going out of hand, cry out to the Lord. God's got your back. You've got Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God the Father. You've got backing on three sides, three dimensions. You are front, back, sideways. You've got backing. God bless you, Christopher. I need you to, to, to comment in the comment section and declare it with me and say, I will not sink. I will not sink. I will not drown in misery. I will be above in the name of Jesus Christ. I will be above in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not sink. Sinking is not an option. Olive, giving up is not an option. Dumaiza, you will not sink. Come on, come on. Mar Mara Official, talk to me. Already, YouTube is already saying they will not sink. Is Mara Official sinking? Is Fortune Airlines sinking? I will not sink. Jesus, I will not sink. I will be above. Say it, say it, send it out in the spirit realm. I will be above in the name of Jesus. I will be above every wind that is bullying me. I will be above every satanic and demonic attack that is trying to bully me and my family. I am above from every wind. God, open up the gates of possibilities for us. Open up the gates of possibilities for us in Jesus' name. Lord, save me. Somebody needs, if you feel like you're sinking, come on. This is not an altar for sissies. 
This is not an altar for sissies. This is an altar where you come demanding and you know what? Don't come on this broadcast chanting. Because I've been too, through too much in my life to chance now. Some of us are past the age of 40. We don't have time to play. I don't, ha I don't have a, another hundred years. We need to manifest now. Oh, Jesus. And fair, he's going to do more than that. You're not just called to just salvation and deliverance, but you're called to a life of abundance. A fruitful life. My God, I feel you right now, Jesus. Shout out to him. Lord, save me. I don't know how to save myself. I don't know. Sometimes I thought I had it. I thought I'm born again. I thought I know how to pray. But Lord, save me. Lord, save me. I will not sink. I will be above every evil spirit. Hallelujah. I will not sink. I'm above every other principality. I'm above every demonic attack. I will not sink. My family will not sink. Hallelujah. The third gate the Lord is opening up for us this morning. He says of his own accord, the gates of understanding, whether common or uncommon, common sense, uncommon sense, whether it makes sense or not for them, whether it's uncommon sense, it is, it is going to help open. It might not make sense to human beings how Peter was freed, guarded by two men and chained, and also the gates were open and guarded. Verse 7 of Acts chapter 12 says, suddenly an angel from the Lord appeared and light flashed around the cell. That's, that light is flashing around you right now. Shashni exactly run with it. That is your word. The flashlight is around you right now. It's something is about to happen. Something is about to happen. You are being released. The angel poked Peter on the side and woke him up and said, Hey, you, and I'm poking you this morning. Martin, I'm poking on you. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to give you the luxury. Uchen, I'm not going to give you the luxury to walk away without what you came for. He poked him. He said, hey, you, it's time to get up. It's time to get up. It's time to get going. Hey, you, Colette, hey, Bushali, I'm here to poke you. Wake up. Tag your neighbor and tell them, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Cornelia, wake up. Jesus. When this gate opens, this gate, the gate of stupidity will remain closed in your life. I prophesy right now. Any stupidity, any confusion that has been happening, that gate is closed in Jesus' mighty name. I command the gate of, of insight to open. May you receive the revelation and may you receive the guidance of where God wants to take you. The gate of instruction is opening for you right now in the name of Jesus. The flood of stupidity, the flood of naivety, it stops right now. Concerning your life. Concerning your thinking. I command the darkness, I command the gloom at the gate to leave permanently. I command the darkness, I command the gloomy the uncertainty to leave you right now, permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you will flourish this year. You will flourish in the second part of this year. In the name of Jesus. You will not be clueless. The Lord will grant you wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Of its own accord, the gate of deliverance is opening right now. The gate of deliverance is opening right now. Then he said, quick, get up. God bless you, Mom Sophie. Quick, get up. This is a quick issue. This is a quick issue. Do you understand that some of you, instead of uh, uh, crying so much in the night, cry with one eye, open up the other eye so that you don't miss your angel. When he pokes you, he says, quick, get up, get up. My God, quick, get up. The chains fell off his hands. The chains fell off his feet. Oh, Jesus. I see the chains breaking. I see the chains falling. Facebook, I see the chains falling. YouTube, I see the chains falling. 
Jesus. TikTok, I see the chains falling. My God. Somebody declaring the chains are falling. Quick, get up. The chains are falling. Quick, get up. The gate of deliverance is opening of its own accord. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. Break every chain. Every chain that is holding you is being broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, the gates of bondages that have been tying you to your past are being opened right now. That thing that has been pulling you to your past, you think you've gone one step and it pulls you 10 steps back. Father, I break that gate of bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To everybody who's at the sound of my voice right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break every gate of cultural bondages, every cultural bondage, every altar that you made a covenant on, every evil altar that you you tied yourself mistakenly or intentionally on. Right now, I break it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That cultural bondage that has been limiting you, right now, I command it to lose its hold from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could shout a better amen. I could I wish you could shout a resounding amen that will announce you in the heavens right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Loose your hold from us. Loose your hold from Rispa. Loose your hold from Megan. Loose your hold from Nomvula. Loose your hold from Nobi. Loose your hold from Marere. Loose your hold from Shashni. The gates are open. The gates of deliverance are open. Do the work. It's not only just by talking. Do the work. When do you do the work, Apostle? You do the work in your spirit, man. You fight this thing and you win this thing. You win it right here on this altar of prayer. My God, protocols are being broken for you. Protocols are being shifted. Whatever the enemy had as a legal hold on you, right now, it's loosing its hold from you. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh my God, let me keep up, let me keep up with my, 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 my teaching. Mm, 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 mm. The chains that have been tying you to the floor. They're going to break off its own accord in the mighty name of Jesus right now. I hope you guys are ready. Are you ready to go to the next dimension? That word that breaks the chains permanently in your life. God is releasing it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, I declare and I decree that you will not be deaf. Welcome, Desmond. You will not be deaf to the instructions and guidance of the Holy Spirit that he wants to give you. You will not be deaf. I unplug those ears. You will not be deaf. Receive your 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 hearing right now. Your hearing is being restored in the spirit. From today, you will not be deaf to your instructions and guidance. I see the gate is opening. I'm proceeding. I'm going into the spirit dimension. And the Lord says, the gates of protection, the gates of covering, the gates of protection, the gates of covering. Somebody say it with me in that comment section. I said, the gates of protection, the gates of covering are being opened right now to remove any nakedness and, and remove any lack in your life. The gates are opening right now. The gates of protection, the gates of your covering are open right now. Verse 8 of X chapter 12 says, and the angel says, get dressed tag your neighbor and tell him to get dressed in case you did not iron your clothes before you slept and you came to this broadcast get dressed quickly quick get up quick get up get dressed put on your sandals whether you put on your sandals you put on your jimmy shoes you put on your whatever it is that you need to put on put on your slippers put on your takeies get up get dressed it's time to go the gates of protection are open for you right now. The gates of, of covering of its own accord, they've opened right now. And Peter did as he was told. Like right now, everybody who's in the sound of my voice, who's saying yes in the spirit, I will do as I'm told. Then the angel said, now put on your coat and follow me. You are covered. He says, put on your coat. Follow me. Every force, every power that has kept you naked right now, I command your hold is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. We've got our coats on. Every nakedness has been covered right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to cover your nakedness. Don't worry about what you're going to wear at your interview. I'm speaking to somebody on, on Mara official. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm -mm. Or am I speaking to you on Fortune Online? Quick, get up. Get dressed. YouTube, Facebook, get dressed. 
Every gate of nakedness that has kept you hiding for years, I command it to be opened up in the name of Jesus Christ. You will receive your covering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I see the gates financially, emotionally opening up. I see the coat that is clothing them, Lord, financially. My God, emotionally, their coats are here. They are ready. They are dressed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for this coming breakthrough. Clothe them, Lord. Clothe me. Dress me up. Somebody needs to declare it and decree it in the spirit realm right now. Dress me up, Jesus. Dress me up, Lord. Dress me up so that I'm ready for this next season, for this coming breakthrough. I need to be ready. I need to be ready with my pitch. I need to be ready with my proposal. I need to be ready in the spirit realm for the next dimension of my ministry. I need to be ready. Dress me up, Jesus. Dress me up, Lord. I see the gate of your visions and your dreams opening up right now. He's saying the gates of your visions and your dreams is opening up. Verse 9 says, Peter left with the angel, but he thought everything was only a dream. You might have just dreamt of your breakthrough, but it's a reality. It is going to happen. It is happening. It is going to happen as you say yes. From now on, I now need to you to say your name. <coughs> And say, fortune, God will cause you to dream again. Wonder, God will cause you to dream again. Miss PM, God will cause you to dream again. I'm asking you to put your name to this declaration. God is causing me to dream again. God is causing me to dream again. Intercede for someone. Intercede for, you know, whatever. Stand in the gap for somebody. That thing that you need for yourself, pray for somebody else to get it. I decree concerning you that you are receiving new dreams, new visions in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that when the Lord is finished with you, it will look like a dream. When the Lord set the, the, the captivity of Zion and turned it around, it was like them that dreamed. It When you laugh and you're thinking and you look back and say, God. Do you know where I'm coming from? Do you know what I've been through? Those of you, those who will have a cloud of, of witnesses around you, they will know, Tabby, that you went through the worst and you thought it was going to kill you and it didn't kill you in Jesus' name. Psalm 126 one says, when the Lord turned the, the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamt. And this morning, Father, we pray and we decree right now, turn again our captivity, O Lord. Turn again our captivity as the uh, 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 as the streams in the south. Turn it over again, oh God. I know you came through for me three years ago. I know you came through for me two years ago. I know God come through for me right now again. Turn again the captivity. My God. Turn it, turn it. Somebody comment in the comment section. Say, turn it, Lord, turn it. As he's turning it, the gate of final breakthrough, that iron gate of breakthrough is opening off. It's a call. I see it. That gate of breakthrough, the final gate of breakthrough is opening up right now of its own accord. Verse 10 says they went past the two groups of soldiers. They came to the iron gate of the city. It opened up by itself. It opened of its own accord. They went out. They were going along street to street. And the angel's work was done. I pray for you that this morning, that the angel's work must come to a completion and you are lifted out from that depression. You are lifted out out of that depression, that suicidal thoughts. You are lifted out. The gates of Queen Faith are being opened right now. Everybody who's at the sound of my voice. I command in the name of Jesus Christ, the gates that need to open in your life of its own accord, they are opening right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command doors, I command gates to open in the name of Jesus Christ. That says the Lord uh, to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holded up to subdue nations. He's saying, I have, I've held your, your hand up this morning that you will be able to subdue nations whose right hand I have held up. I will loose the loins of kings to open for him before him. The two-leaved gates and the gates shall not be shut, says the Spirit of the Lord. 
I'm lifting up your hand. I'm lifting up your right hand. You're going to go through. They will open up the gates and the gates shall not be shut. In the name of Jesus, let's pray together. Lord, I thank you for this day that you have made. I rejoice and I'm glad in it. We are glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace on our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your gift of life. We thank you for your gift of abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of them, are, they, they don't know that the breakthrough has already come when you are thanking him like this. As I'm thanking, I'm, I'm, I'm leading you on how to unlock this thing. You should already be thanking him. Thank him in advance. Now, now this is your time to thank him and you put in your request. What is it that you came for? I need to rush because I know you guys are going to, 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 the, to the offices today. Oh, no, it's Sunday today. You see, I'm already on Monday. I'm always ahead. I'm already on during the week. I'm thinking it's a weekday. Hallelujah. But even if it's a Sunday, hallelujah, I want to keep to our, our, our scheduled time. My God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of abundant life. Thank you, Lord, that every door and every gate that has been shut for us, every good door and every good gate that has been shut for us, it is opening up right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every gate that has been shut, that is uh, shutting up my breakthrough right now, I command it to open by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your gates of, of breakthrough to open your gates of success right now. Open up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the gates of promotion to open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the gates of your helpers to come through for you in Jesus' mighty name. Your helpers are locating you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every door or gate that has shut out your helpers right now, it is being opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, open by thunder every door, every gate door that has been shut against our fruitfulness right now. I command it to open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is opening by fire every gate of fruitfulness, every gate of prosperity, every gate of marriage, every gate of promises that have been hanging in the balance, the blessings that have been hanging and pending. It is opening up right now. Open up all your gates and let the King of glory come in into our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up all your everlasting doors and everlasting gates in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the King of glory visit us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the King of glory visit Oscar today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the King of glory re re visit Joy Queen in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, every wall of Jericho that has been promised, that has been blocking the promised land access right now, I command it to fall down by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. It is falling down flat in the name of Jesus Christ. You are accessing the city. You are accessing the door. You are accessing the gates. You are accessing the storehouse. Every giant or strong personality that has been occupying your land. What are you waiting for? asking what is it waiting for every strong man who is sitting on your seat of promotion who is that person who is sitting on your seat of promotion open up ask it what are you waiting for that thing you are believing god for right now ask it that gate you want to be open and say doors to my success what are you waiting for doors to my promotion what are you waiting for doors to my marital settlement what are you waiting for Thank you, Jesus. You will occupy your land. You will occupy your own house. Your own house. You will occupy that seat that they unseated you on. You will have your own job, your own career. Restoration. Restoration after retrenchment. And it will be like you. it's double or triple whatever you were making before. My God. Every giant that is occupying my position right now, pack your load, pack your load, live in Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus. Every satanic occupier that is occupying your promised land, it must be evicted by force. Begin to evict every satanic force that is occupying your land right now. By force, by fire, we command you to be evicted in the name of Jesus Christ. We are entering into our inheritance today. We are entering into our inheritance today. This land shall favor us. 
This land shall favor our household. In Jesus' mighty name, wherever we find ourselves, wherever we locate ourselves, whatever country, whatever situation and position we are in, whatever community we are in, we shall be favored. In our workplaces, we shall be favored. The Lord's favor shall translate to the favor of men. Our colleagues shall favor us. They will do no us no harm. Our destiny helpers will come through for us and will elevate us in Jesus' name. I decree that as we close this week and we come into the opening of the new week, the new week will present into you open doors and open gates and open opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ. The gates of great achievements are opening up for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every divine door, every divine gate that is going to open for you shall not be shut. It shall remain open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They shall open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody text somebody and declare it again and say, this gate will open. You are next in line for undeniable, undeniable abundance. You are next in line. You are next in line for incontestable miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. You are next in line. Every divine key that is going to open up your breakthrough for your gates to open right now in the name of Jesus Christ is being released right now. I said every divine key that you need to open that door is being released right now in the name of Jesus. The keys of David that will open a new door, a new gate. Hallelujah. They are being given to you right now. The Lord is going to cause doors and is going to cause gates. He's going to cause windows of heaven to open up for you all over your life. Whether it's a window, whether it's a gate, whether it's a door, whatever needs to open for you, it is opening up right now in Jesus' mighty name. There's going to be an outpouring of God's blessings upon your life. God's pouring out blessings upon your household right now in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless those who are gifting in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Saint Spirit. May the Lord enlarge your territory in Jesus' mighty name. Men and women shall arise and begin to bless you and your family in Jesus' mighty name. You are going to find favors from unusual quarters in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout, let my gates open. Let my gates open. Open up the gates of righteousness in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, Queen Faith. Thank you, Mom Sophie. God bless you. May you never lack of any good thing. May you never lack financially in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your investments triple fold and increase triple fold in Jesus' mighty name. The gates of righteousness are open. Go through them. Praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteousness shall enter. You are the righteousness of the living God. Enter the gates right now. Lift up all your heads, all your gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors. Be lifted up, all your everlasting gates. The King of Glory shall come in and visit you this night. The King of Glory shall come and visit you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome, Zodra. The King of Glory is here. The Lord, he's strong and mighty. You might feel weak and, and, and not having strength, but he says, I'm the Lord God Almighty. I'm, I've, I've got the strength that you need. Jesus. He's mighty in battle. He's Lord. He's ready to go fight this fight for you. He's ready to fight this battle with you. Push in the spirit. Lift up your heads, all you gates. You everlasting gates. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts, the Lord God Almighty. He is glory, glorified. He's the Lord God Almighty. Father, I thank you for the victory that you have brought to everybody who's at the sound of my voice right now. Somebody who's at the influence of my voice right now. May they live here not forgetting who they are. May they not live here without understanding that they've got the victory that they came for. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you are the way to victory, that we are not going to explore any other ways to victory. Because we know that you are the way to victory in Jesus' mighty name. We take authority over every project in our lives, everything that is going on in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy every evil spirit that has been organized against our prayer lives, that has been organized against the prayer lives of our family, that has been organized against our lives as a spirit being. Father, we take control over it right now. We destroy those evil spirits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ, Father, we decree and we declare that this morning, Father God, we will possess the gates of our enemies. The battle is at the gate and we know that we are winning it at the gate. We will enter the city. The walls are falling down. They are crumbling down. The mountains are being leveled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let gates of praises and gates of worship be established in your life. Praise and worship should be an established gate that is always open so that the incense keeps on going. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The gates of hell will not prevail against you. They will not prevail against your family. God bless you, Lemo. Oh, Jesus. I open up every gate from every direction, the west, the south, the east, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the north. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, ancient witchcraft gates be open. Whatever witchcraft gate is there, it has to open and let you go and let you loose. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rosakalabayasata. Gates of righteousness, Zama. They're opening up right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, declare it with me. Type it in the comment section. This gate will open. Mention the gate that you want open. What did you come here believing God for? This gate will open in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord of strength. My God, let my gates be opened. Let the gates of iron, let the gates of bronze be broken. Let the gates of brass be broken. Let the gates of iron be broken and be opened for me in Jesus' mighty name. Open before me the gates that I may go in and possess the treasures that the Lord has set aside for me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke every enemy at the gates of your life. I rebuke every enemy that is trying to block your access to the city in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Roshakatia. Every enemy that is trying to block your revival is being blocked right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke the enemy that is trying to stop your prosperity. All gates have to open this morning. I rebuke the gates of falsehood, people who are going to try to entrap you, people who are going to try to deceive you. I rebuke those gates and I shut those gates. Let the gateways be open for you right now. Gateways of success, gateways of contracts that you never dreamt of. They are opening for you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Gates of holiness, be open. Gates of healing, be open. Thank you, Jesus. Let the gates be repaired. Some of you, the enemy has been running helter-skelter back and forth in your life. And that gate is being, is, is being repaired right now. The gates of protection are being repaired right now. Whatever you don't want in your life anymore. The Lord is saying, I'm repairing the gate. You are protected. Let the gates be open this morning. The gates of salvation, the gates of deliverance are open this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the gates of June are opening. The gates of July are opening. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is subduing nations for you. He is breaking protocols for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everybody that has come through on this broadcast this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for amazing glory has been released. I want to announce to somebody this morning and tell you, your season of limitless opportunities has finally come. The gates of joy are open. Limitless, limitless opportunities. Somebody type it and receive your limitless opportunities. Limitless opportunities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Behold, I have set before you an open door. I have set before you an open door and no man can shut it. No man, no man can shut it. No spirit can shut it. God is set to do a new thing this morning. As we are closing right now, I need everybody to make sure that you are following the platform that you are seeing me from. Make sure you are click the like button on the videos if you're on YouTube and Facebook. Those of you on TikTok, I need you to keep on uh, tapping on the screen. Make sure you're following the platform me, oh, that you are on right now. And you turn on that notification bell. Those of you on the Mara Official who are watching me from that broadcast, make sure you're following Fortune L online and you find me on TikTok. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for the testimonies of the open gates. I'm waiting for those testimonies. You go to my videos that are pinned and you testify. You find Fortune L online. Fortune, F-O-R-T-U-N-E, L online. Thank you, Jesus. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Shall you not see it? Shall you not know it? I'm making a way in the wilderness. Limitless, limitless opportunities for you, Nomvula. 
make it will rain and abundance of rain is coming your way as we close the month of june and we are transitioning into the month of july you will walk into strange doors. You're going to walk into strange gates. You're going to testify. You're going to come back and tell me, Pastor, it has happened as you said it. It has happened. You unlocked it. Limitless, limitless business opportunities. Limitless. Limitless career opportunities. Limitless, limitless ideas. Limitless creativity. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are invited to come on in. Come on in. Enter into the gates now. Now enter your city. Begin to glorify God. Begin to give him praise. As it is written, we have heard with our ears, O oh God. Our fathers have told us that what work thou didst in their days and in the times of old. It is a new dawn. It is a new dawn for you. I hear the Spirit says it is a new dawn for you. I don't know who's taking that word. If it's you, say, that's me. It's my new dawn. This is my new dawn. If that's you, take it and declare it. This is my new dawn. It's a new dawn. From henceforth, you shall see the miracle of God in your days. In your days, in your days, God will have to settle you speedily. God will have to settle you speedily. You will see the new dawn as we transition into July. Lord God, whatever and whoever will not let us enter into our open gate this morning, into our open gate of miracles, clear them out of the way for us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. I see you. Those, that's me, Lisa. That's you. Every person that is standing as a blockade right now, they are being cleared out right now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh Lord, by your divine power, I ask that you open up the eyes of everybody who's at the sound of my voice. Everybody who's at the influence of my voice right now, may the Lord open up your eyes in the name of Jesus Christ of understanding to see and to know that your gate is set before you in the presence of your enemies. The door is opening and it is your time to celebrate. Yes, this is your new dawn, Shashni. The spirit that does not receive miracles that is dwelling inside of me, I push you out of my life right now by the power of in Jesus' mighty name. By your divine power right now, God, do a notable, unforgettable thing in their lives. Give us an unforgettable testimony. Do a notable thing that will announce us to the world in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Lord, that you may bless us indeed and enlarge our coast. Surprise us, oh God, by the miracles that we are expecting in Jesus' mighty name. We declare and we decree that we are lifted up in Jesus' mighty name by your divine authority. Do the miracles of the valley of the dry bones in our lives. Miracles at the... Thank you so much, Nom Valley. So God bless you. Do the miracles. Begin to prophesy into your life right now. Begin to prophesy into your life. It shall come to pass. Talk to me. Mention that thing in the comment section and say it shall come to pass. As I key in, as I read in your prayer requests and your prayer praises, I'm reading those praise reports. Remember how to phrase your request. Thank him and give him and say, my health shall come to pass. My career shall come to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for that subscription. Thank you so much. That person who has subscribed, may the Lord increase your territory. May the Lord be a blessing and may the Lord shower you with blessings. I declare and I decree that you shall be the head and not the tail. And the Lord will cause your headship to be seen. It shall come to pass whatever you are desiring that God wants you to, to have according to his will, according to his riches and glory. Oh, I declare and I decree that Tiana, indeed, you are reporting to work. In the name of Jesus Christ, it shall come to pass. Your health shall come to pass. Be specific. I need you to be specific. Don't come to your father God just broadly. Yes, he knows your needs. He knows exactly what you want. But some of you don't know what you want. And you need to know what you want. State exactly what you want. And he say it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Which blessing shall come to pass? Which one do you want specifically? You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are blessed in the city and you are blessed in the field. You are blessed in your coming in and going out, Petsy. 
Nikki, you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Your family shall have all the opportunities that they are believing for. It shall come to pass. Is it customers that you're believing God for? Talk to me. That real estate business will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. It has come to pass. Open up all the gates. This gate will open. Sigh in the name of Jesus Christ. More customers booming. Your green card shall come to pass. Your job is protected. Your healing is certain. You will give birth. It is certain. Your, you will not cry anymore. May the Lord uproot anybody who's making you cry in your life right now. May the Lord restore your marriage right now. The door of a joyful marriage, the gate of a joyful marriage right now. Thank you so much, Ned. God bless you. Your passport is granted, Sheila, in Jesus' mighty name. You are breaking free from financial challenges. This word, the, the, this vocabulary of financial, financial breakthrough, may you break through. May the Lord give you the formula and the recipe and the, and the, the instructions and the guidance to, for you to get out of financial debt. I declare and I decree that that permanent residence permit application is being granted for you. Said Gwen, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. My God, Father, I come into the marriage of Sashni right now. Father, you, 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 you joined them together for a reason. Father, if you be the foundation of that marriage, I thank you, Lord, for restoring them to a position where they remember their vows and they remember why and where they are going, and whose they are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Kihembo, I thank the Lord for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I see that farm that you will purchase in the name of Jesus Christ. Goodness, Holy Spirit, I ask you to go and do the repair work in these marriages in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, let your will be done. Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord. Gessie, your accounting firm shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Your children, Mildred, shall never lack of a job in Jesus' mighty name. We stand with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for promotion and breakthrough. Father, we pray for chosen by God that that court case shall go according in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. La kosoto korie bebe bebe shia. Facebook, do I still have you on the stream? YouTube, shall I still do I still have you on the stream? Sorry, I just saw something happening on the monitors. Thank you, Jesus. Muchengeti on Facebook, I pray for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord mend your broken heart. May the Lord mend your broken heart in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, your buildings will be completed, Mam Sophie, and those tenants are coming. Brenda, all gates must, must definitely respond to you. Regina, the gates are opening for you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Sharon Maguta, the gates are opening for you in Jesus' mighty name. This gate shall open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba, Bashia. 
Uchena Collins, thank you so much on YouTube for confirming this word is for you. Indeed, you will not sink. You will rise above every turbulent situation in your life. Indeed, in Jesus' mighty name. The gates of your family's possibilities are opening up right now, Uchena. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not sink. The Lord's mercy shall speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure you are following the host account and don't, don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you don't miss me when I go, come back on, on, on live. Hallelujah. I'm live every single day of the week, 5 a.m. South African Standard Time, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. South African Standard Time as well. And Fridays at 12 midnight. We pray through 12 midnight, 12 to 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. Your children's jobs are secure. Father, I thank you for Alicia's visa. Thank you for Tanisha being able to buy that house, oh God. That testimony of that first time buyer, let it be for somebody right now in Jesus' mighty name. I need uh, moderators on Mara Official. Please put on my, my, my handle, Fortune L Online. Make sure you are finding me on TikTok as well because I need you to be in the WhatsApp group as well. I need you to follow me on TikTok, Fortune L Online, Pastor Fortune. And I need you to follow on YouTube because I need you to go soak yourself in the word and you go and watch the replays that are happening currently on YouTube right now. And you sit on your word and you deal with your foundations and you make sure that your breakthrough is certain and go through in Jesus' mighty name. Aubrey, you will buy your new home and your family shall be provided for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm confirming it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for stable marriages, oh God. I ask Lord, that all the turbulence be eradicated, be annihilated. I obliterate any third parties that are breaking up marriages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I open up the wombs of conceptions. I declare and I decree that all in it, you will receive the fruit of the womb in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I confirm, Chosi, you can go start looking at houses in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray that the upcoming marriage ceremony from China for China, my God, it shall come to pass and no one will hinder it. All the provision, every finance that is required for it, it is there in Jesus' mighty name. She will have her dream wedding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for promotion. I pray for Deborah's daughter in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that Frida is released from any financial challenges that she's been going through. Father God, you are giving her the formula that she requires. Ideas and direction and guidance, oh God. You are coming out of debt, my darling. You are protected. Your jobs are protected. Fear, leave them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are going to get married before December, I pray for you right now that every plan goes accordingly. The enemy shall not frustrate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This gate will be open. Declare it one more time. This gate will open in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. This gate will open. The gates are open right now. Father, we pray for doors of ministries to open, the gates of ministry to open in the name of Jesus Christ. Chupi, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may your calling be validated in the name of Jesus Christ. May signs and wonders be evidenced in your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marital settlement is guaranteed in Jesus' mighty name. What you're looking for is looking for you. What you're looking for is looking for you. What you need to look for is Jesus. What you need to do is declare it and decree it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mom Sophie. 
There's a treasure box that somebody has dropped. I believe they want you to gift so that you also participate in the gifting. Thank you, Pastor Samuel. God bless you. May God increase your ministry in Jesus' mighty name. Your children will succeed, Chosini, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the gates of promotion to, to, to open in the name of Jesus Christ. Every gate that has been blocked by the power that is speaking against your destiny, right now I command them to fall in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning, those of you who are joining us. Those of you who are joining us, you're going to have to watch the replay on YouTube. When we switch off this broadcast, you go to my YouTube channel, Fortune L Online. Fortune L Online. Find me on TikTok as well. Those of you on Mara Official, let me help you. I'm going to put on and, and pin through another account so that you can see what account to follow on TikTok and on YouTube. I'm Fortune L Online everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. What's his name, Cosmas? What's your son's name? Cosmas, what is your son's name? Father God, we speak to the eyes, oh God. Father, when you create, you create perfectly, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We speak to that eye, Lord. We speak a correction to that eyesight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cosmas, I'm waiting for your son's name. Please give me his, his name and his surname in totality. His name and surname, please, my darling. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Mara Official, that account that I've pinned there, Fortune L Online, you make sure that after this broadcast, you go and follow it on TikTok and you make sure that you follow me on YouTube. We need to stay connected. This is not a once-off. This is a growth thing. I need you to grow. Cadela Clark. When you come to the pool, I need you to come already ready to jump in. And if you want God to answer your prayer, Stay, state what it is. Guys, you can have what you say right now. In this atmosphere, you can have what, it's, what you want. God has given you the power to dispossess the enemy. God has given you the power to possess the gates of the enemy. It's on you right now. It's available for you right now. I started prophesying from the start of this broadcast already. The gate is open. Walk through. Take what you need. God bless you, Zodwa. Take what you need. The spoils are there. The treasure boxes are open. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for business restorations. Guys, you need to collect the coins. Non Veliso says, I need others to also give. Thank you for being a blessing, Non Veliso. God bless you. Thank you for those who are gifting. May the Lord increase you. Somlanda, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Mom Sophie. May the Lord enlarge your territory. Every gate in your foundation that has been magnetizing curses, I command it to be broken right now in Jesus' mighty name. I command every gate that is in your foundations that has been magnetizing curses against you, I shut them down in Jesus' mighty name by the power in the blood of Jesus. I speak, let the blood of Jesus cleanse your roots right now let the blood of jesus cleanse your foundation right now in the mighty name of jesus thank you jesus thank you marere god bless you hallelujah hallelujah
God bless you. Hey, Moose King, I see you. You can state your prayer requests on the on the comment section before I, I close. I'm not going to be long today because I've got another ministration during the day. So I have to get going. I'm evangelizing in Tembisa and Midrand today. So we're not going to be too long today. So quickly make sure you're following me. I'm next live again at 5 a.m. tomorrow. And um, remember, every single day of the week, South African Standard Time, 5 a.m. So you make sure you synchronize with your clock. Hallelujah. Those testimonies, you can inbox or you can send them on the, on the videos that are pinned and you just give a testimony of what the Lord has done in your life. You have contacted glory. You have come to the protocol breaking prayer. Therefore, protocols have to be broken for you. It's standard. We expect it. Here, we, we don't dilly-dally. We expect it. It's happening. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do me. May the Lord give you every resource to renovate your house in Jesus' mighty name. Born fighter. May the Lord restore you with your big brother. That fallout that has happened. May the Lord bring unity and love in your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shoo, there's a wave of cold. Is somebody feeling the wave of the Holy Spirit right now? There's just like a breeze, a heavy breeze of the Holy Spirit. Guys, there's a heavy breeze. Do do. God's got your back. God has got your back in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray against every sibling rivalry in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Tess's mother. I pray for that entire family right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for those who are gifting. Who's feeling that breeze on your feet right now? The Lord is healing you. Your feet have just gone through right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody has been healed. Your, your feet have been healed. You felt a breeze on your knees. God bless you. Aha, Dijou, you, you felt that breeze. Bless you. My God. You have to close the door. If there's no but, if you say but, Gabela, you are interrupting your flow. You are interrupting your own miracle. Don't interrupt your miracle. You must not cancel with your mouth. Just walk in. The gate is open. There's no but. Don't cancel what you have already received. Russia, may the may the, the breeze of health just, just go and blow on your mother right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. My God, thank you, Jesus. Every gate of idolatry that was opened by our ancestors right now, I shut that door by the power in the blood of Jesus right now. Every door, every, 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 every gate that is being fought by whatever your ancestors did, I shut that door right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not be enslaved anymore. Whatever has been troubling your destiny, whatever has been disgracing your efforts, I decree and I declare that enough is enough right now. Enough is enough in Jesus' mighty name. Enough is enough in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for those of you who are also on Mara Official. God bless you. If you are looking for me, if you're wondering who I am, am I? I'm fortunate online on TikTok. I'm fortunate online on all social media channels. I've pinned my account there. You can also find me. The account that I'm broadcasting on on Mara is a, an account that, that I cross post with. So anytime that they are live, my account is also live. Anytime I'm live, their account is also live, in case you are wondering. And at 10 p.m., you will see that the broadcast that are happening with Apostle Mara, he's teaching on prayer. So he's more on the teaching side and wanting to equip you so that you know how to do these things for yourself. 
those of you who want to uh, be trained in the in in the spirit um in the school of the spirit you're welcome to inbox be okay if you're tired who's gonna fight receive the strength from god you're not going out of that boxing ring you're gonna stay in there you're gonna fight because if you don't fight your next generation is going to struggle your children will struggle so you're gonna have to make a decision that it stops with you in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray against every gate of ignorance that has held you back Every gate of perpetual lack that has held you back. Every gate of want that has held you, held you back. I overthrow those gates right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will no longer be lacking perpetually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We overthrow it this morning. We overthrow it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those floodgates of Jehovah's abundant provisions right now, they are beginning to flood your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for those who are gifting. Thank you for those who are uh, following. Thank you for those who are tapping, those who are sharing. Thank you. God bless you. I want you to see the flood of abundant provision that is coming through. Somebody who's spirit man, who's ready. Dr. Catherine, God bless you. God bless you and increase you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your boss will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bind whatever, whatever spirit, whatever, whatever gossip that they have been trying to move with. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Father, we thank you for job security in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pumza, the plans that that man is moving with, you need to, to fight. You need to bind it in the spirit realm in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I speak to the gates of infidelity right now. The Holy Spirit says I must pay, speak to the gates of infidelity mm -hmm. in every marriage right now. If that is you in your, in your marriage right now, you're going through infidelity, adultery, a cheating spouse. I speak to that gate of infidelity that is fighting your marriage. Mm. That thing that has been troubling your marriage. You see, I call it that thing. Any third party that was not there on the altar when you were taking your vows, mm. that is threatening your marriage right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it right now. I say enough is enough. I command it to dry up. Every gate of infidelity, I command that gate to dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Delilah that is toying with every Samson, may they receive the arrows of strange sickness and die in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not even apologetic. May they receive a strange sickness and die in Jesus' mighty name. What God has joined together, no man shall put asunder in the name of Jesus Christ. Your marriage shall stand. Your marriage shall be stable. Anybody threatening your security of your marriage, may the Lord uproot them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every gate that has been cursing any of your prospects, any of your potentials in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every gate of Balaam cursing your children. I command you right now, I declare and I decree your time is up. That gate will carry its own curses in the name of Jesus Christ. It will carry its own curses and commit suicide. Your children shall not be cursed. I lift up that curse of, on your children right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to the gates of marital delays. I speak to the gates of solitude that have been punishing the lives of many, oh God, that have been causing the lives of many to be in fornication and adultery straits right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every gate of wasters that is fashioned against your destiny Every gate of wasters that is fashioned against your glory. You are a liar. You are a liar. 
be wasted and crumble to dust in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We begin to waste every waster right now. We command that you will be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're not cursing any people. We're cursing the enemy. We curse the enemy. We curse the spirit, the evil spirit. We're cursing the gates. We're cursing the evil gates that are stopping. Don't curse nobody. Bless them. You're right. Bless the people. We curse the gates. We curse, we curse the spirit, the evil spirit in them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every gate of idleness, I speak to you right now. Every gate of stagnation, I speak to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to expire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every gate of stagnation that has been rubbishing your life, that has been making you feel less than adequate, every gate, every gate of idleness right now, we command you to expire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Every gate of immortality that have been fashioned to abort your promotion, we abort you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be promoted. Your job shall be secured in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every gate fashioned against your glory. You are, we are not your candidates. Our glory shall be established. The Lord shall be established. The Lord's glory shall be established through our testimonies in Jesus mighty name. Come on prayer warriors. Push through. The gate of the new week. Bring out my breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we close the gates of sicknesses, the gates of diseases. We say we are not your candidate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every gate of economic hardship, we are not your candidate. We are the candidates of gates of prosperity. We are a candidate of gates of the miraculous provisions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every dark gate of wickedness, we break you into pieces right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We break the rod of every wickedness in Jesus' mighty name. Every gate of family reproach, it's broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You are expiring right now. Every gate of family reproach from your father's house or from your mother's house right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are exempted. Your destiny is certain. Your destiny shall be established in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, Cynthia, on, on, on YouTube, Junior, on YouTube, everybody who's on YouTube, everybody who's on Facebook. I'm with you. I've not lost you. I command every gate of reproach in your life. I declare and decree that you are exempted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are exempted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your destiny gates be open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we are your bride. Makoda Bashatakadia. As I close right now, I, I, I pray for you. And I decree and I declare the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit shall always rest and abide with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This gate will be open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The gates of goodness and the gates of mercy will always be open for you. The cloud of glory is moving right now. As you have come with your prayer request and as you have joined on this altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will experience effective, effectual, fervent prayer answers. Those answers are coming as you brought your own fervent prayers, as, as you came requesting what you came asking for, it has been granted. The gates have been opened in Jesus mighty name. You're welcome to inbox me. 
My name is Fortunel Online. I'm posting it again for the benefit of those who are on Mara Official so that you identify me on Fortunel Online. On TikTok, please make sure you are following me. Quickly follow just Fortune L online. Look for it on TikTok. It's Pastor Fortune with a pink um background. Make sure you follow that account. I also have another one that says Fortune L online backup, but you only follow it when I'm live on the broadcast so that you make sure you follow the right one. Amen. You have come to the altar of protocol breaking prayers. Therefore, Every protocol has been broken for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you are favored of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. You will possess the gates of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that was fighting you, any power that is encamping against the goodness of the Lord and breakthroughs right now, they have been sent into the enemy of confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. They are scattering right now. In fact, they are, they are confused. They are running helter-skelter right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every power that has been coming from your adversaries right now, it has been rendered important in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. I'm going to have to shut down the broadcast and... Um, Thank you so much. God bless you. Those of you on YouTube and on uh, Facebook, if you want to jump on onto TikTok, find me on Fortune Online and just follow me there quickly before I close right now. God bless you. Thank you so much, guys. Remember, I'm back live tomorrow, 5 a.m. Every single day of the week, 5 a.m. God bless you, Dr. Catherine. 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. Um, So you just need to sync your clock what time it is in your zone. I will also try and put just a standard... um calendar invite so you see it at the top of all my videos and you can just click and then so that you can put it on your calendar for wednesdays we have a talk session um 7 p.m south african standard time it happens on tiktok and on zoom and we also have a midnight prayer session every friday Okay, they, you guys have asked for it on Fortune Online. So we're going to have our Friday nights, midnight sessions, and we're going to pray much longer than the hour that we normally allocate. So normally on weekdays, we do one hour. Okay. If we overlap, we overlap on TikTok and we chat and people are welcome to jump out because on weekdays, people are going to work. So I try and make sure that they are set up properly before their day starts. Okay. And uh, those who are uh, on the night season, they know exactly where they are. Um, you know, they sleep and wake up um, having rested. So I try not to keep you too long. Thank you. God bless you, Megan. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you for those who are praying for my family as well. Thank you to all our partners as well. Thank you so much, guys. Um, our partners who have partnered with us for the crusade that is happening next week. Thank you. Please keep praying for the crusade as well. And uh, keep praying for the souls that are coming. Keep praying for the healings that will happen. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit go ahead of us and do his work. May all glory be given back to God in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much. Bless you darlings.